Osibajo finally out to contest for presidency come 2023. A group under the eggs of Good News Nigeria is pushing for Yemi Osibajo to contest for president in 2023. The advocacy group urged Nigerians to support Yemi Osibajo and Bono governor Babagana Zulu for president and vice president respectively. Good News Nigeria said the country would benefit from the rulership of Osibajo and Zulu. A group under the eggs of Good News Nigeria has urged Vice President Yemi Osibajo to contest for president in 2023. The group wants Osibajo and Babagana Zulum to contest for president and vice president respectively in 2023. The group in a statement on Friday, July 3rd, said a joint ticket of Yemi Osibajo and Bono Governor Babagana Zulum as president and vice president respectively in 2023 would lead to national development. According to the group's national coordinator, Dauda Mbaya, Nigeria would emerge as the next developed country in the world if it elects a credible leader in 2023. Retention of military chiefs is a disservice to Nigeria. Group Tel Buari, the advocacy group, said an Osibajo and Zulum ticket would have immense benefits for the development of Nigeria in 2023. Thank you for listening to this news. <laughs> Viewers, to be frank, that is the truth. I'm telling you, that is the truth. If only we can be able to see the truth this way. Eh? I'm telling you, see, this truth will make a good um, leader to this country. I don't know how you are seeing it, but to me, I think this group has really, really viewed it very well. And they have actually made it clear. It's a very good observation. See, Osibajo will make a good, it's a good, it's a good choice. These two will make a good choice for Nigeria. I'm telling you the truth. If only we can just see it the, the, and the way they are seeing it. Look, for example, when Buhari wasn't around, when he traveled, remember, when he was sick, Osibajo just wrote, represented him for a few months if I'm not mistaken, if you really check the strength of the Nigerian economy, you can see that there is a little push. There is a little push up to the economy. The economy was actually 10% up within that period. With what Osibajo did, I'm telling you, and if you look at the changes that that he made. I remember that that was the time President Mubari closed the border. But the moment President Mubari leave, left, Osubajo reopened the border and you need to see what started going on in the economy. The economy started moving, pulling, pulling weights. The economy started pulling weights with full force. And after that, it changed some 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 persons moving them from one department to another department is he, he swapped some 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 departments in Aso Rock. he swapped some persons moving them taking them away from where they used to be and placing them to another department believing that that is the best the that's the best place for that person to function there was a lot of changes during that period. But what happened? Despite all of that, when President Mubari came back, what happened? It changed everything. Mubari changed everything. All that Osibajo did 
very castigated them. He was against them. He said, he questioned Osibaji, who gave you the right to do these things? <laughs> My dear, there is a difference between a teacher and a student. As far as I'm concerned, what is a student to Osibajo? And I keep saying it, it only takes a learned person to handle this country. This country doesn't need only stubborn head somebody. It needs someone with intelligent quotients. Someone with a bright IQ. A bright IQ to handle this country. Wari is not a type. He's just stubborn. He's a stubborn leader. He doesn't have it up, upstairs. He doesn't have it upstairs. I'm telling you that these two are, are, are good selections. That is, if only Nigerians will see it the way this group have seen it. They have done their findings and they have come up with a good suggestion. If possible, I will advise that Nigerians can take it up. A group can sponsor, can sponsor the group. A group can sponsor the both people and by getting them a ticket. By getting them a ticket. That is it. Let us try and understand that. That these people deserves, deserves that opportunity. Osibajo is a material. Osibajo is a tool. He's someone that we should believe in. He's someone that we should work with. We must not see. This group made a point. They said that Nigeria will move away from the underdeveloped country it used to be to a developed country, which is true. I, I believe in what they have just said. I strongly believe in what they have just said, and that is the truth. This man, Osibajo, Papa. See, I don't know if you are seeing things the way I am saying. He has all that it takes to take this country to a better level. Because he has the qualifications. He has the skill. Do you understand now? He has the human power. Don't look at don't look at his um his his his, his personality. He might look so small, but what he controls is more than what some cannot be able to control. I tell you, that is why we need to be very, very understanding and considerate. That is why we need to be understanding. See, being a president doesn't have anything to do with stubbornness. Stubbornness. It doesn't... Someone should not tell me that Nigeria needs a stubborn leader like Buari. No! They're getting it wrong. It's because we are saying all of that. That is why Buari keep remaining autocratic. Not welcoming anybody's opinion. Believing on his own opinion. If it's not his own opinion, it can never be anybody's opinion. What is that? Are we in the military? We have crossed the military state um, system of government. Now we are in the civil, in the civilian system of government. Let him come down to that ground. See the level of our economy. See the level of insecurity in Nigeria. See what is happening. What is he doing about it? Buari should know that Nigeria has grown above that stage in life. So, my viewers. What's the take on this? Please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button 
to get updated when you upload any new videos. Thank you.